In the final minutes of a nail-biting game against the league-leading New York Liberty, Caitlin Clark grabbed a crucial rebound, securing her place in history as the first rookie to record a triple-double in the WNBA. With 19 points, 11 rebounds, and 13 assists, she led the Indiana Fever to an astonishing 83-78 victory. Can you believe the sheer talent and determination of this young star? She's up there with rebounds, up there with steals. And she'll take the first three-pointer and knock it down and treat the fans. The Indiana Fever going up against the New York Liberty, the undisputed top team in the WNBA. This wasn't just any regular matchup, it was David versus Goliath, and everyone was expecting the Liberty to steamroll the Fever. The Liberty, stacked with talent and riding high on a wave of victories, had already beaten the Fever three times this season. They were the juggernaut of the league, known for their relentless offense and rock-solid defense. But this game, oh man, this game turned out to be something else entirely. Clark with her 11th rebound, feeding Mitchell for three! From the tip-off, the tension in the arena was palpable. The Liberty, with their towering players and aggressive style, looked to assert dominance early. They had a reputation for overwhelming their opponents, and most people in the stands thought that this would be no different. Yet, the fever came out swinging, led by their rookie sensation, Caitlin Clark. You could feel the energy shift the moment she stepped on the court. The Liberty started strong, trying to establish their usual fast-paced game. They moved the ball with precision, their players cutting through the Fever's defense like knives. The Fever, on the other hand, had a different spark this time. They were fighting tooth and nail, matching the Liberty's intensity at every turn. And then there was Clark, the wild card, the rookie who wasn't supposed to make such a big impact against such a formidable team. As the first quarter unfolded, Clark lit up the court. She was everywhere, sinking three-pointers, grabbing rebounds, and dishing out assists. Her energy was infectious, and the Fever fed off it. By the end of the first quarter, the Fever were leading 24, 18, and you could see the disbelief on the faces of Liberty's players and fans. This was supposed to be an easy win for them, but here was Clark, a rookie, turning the game on its head. The Liberty didn't take it lying down, though. They fought back hard, showing why they were the league's best. Their star players started hitting their stride, closing the gap, and even pulling ahead by seven points in the third quarter. It was a nail-biter, with both teams trading blows like heavyweight boxers. Every possession counted, every shot was crucial, and the intensity was through the roof. What made this game unforgettable wasn't just the back and forth battle, but the sheer grit and determination on display. Clark, despite having burns on her knees from the previous game, played like she was invincible. The Liberty's defense, known for being brutal and unyielding, tried to wear her down, but she kept pushing, kept fighting. The bruises, the exhaustion, the pressure of facing the top team. It didn't matter. Clark played as if her life depended on it. As the clock wound down in the fourth quarter, the fever were trailing. The Liberty, smelling blood, went for the kill. But then, in those final crucial minutes, Clark stepped up again. She grabbed a pivotal rebound, sealing her historic triple-double, and you could feel the momentum shift. The fever, inspired by their rookie's fearless performance, surged ahead. When the final buzzer sounded, the score was 83. 78 in favor of the Fever. Again, coming off the screens. Clark steps back, fires, you bet! From the very start, you could tell Clark was on a mission. In the first quarter alone, she dropped 11 points, showcasing her lethal shooting ability. She nailed three three-pointers, each one a dagger that seemed to demoralize the Liberty's defense. And she wasn't just scoring. Clark dished out three assists, grabbed three rebounds, and snatched two steals. She was everywhere on the court, moving with a purpose that screamed, I'm here to win. Her efficiency was off the charts. Clark hit four out of five field goals and drained three out of four shots from beyond the arc in just the first quarter. Watching her play was like seeing an artist at work. 
each move calculated, every shot a masterpiece. The Indiana Fever, thanks to her efforts, ended the first quarter leading 24-18. It was a sight to behold, the underdogs were on top and Clark was the catalyst. But the game was more than just stats on a sheet. It was about the grit and determination Clark displayed. This wasn't just another game, it was a battle. Remember, she had suffered burns on her knees in the previous game against the Las Vegas Aces. You could see the marks, the painful reminders of a brutal sport. Yet, she played through the pain. She didn't flinch. That's what sets her apart. Her toughness. Her refusal to let anything stand in her way. Point, Iowa lead. Here's Clark. Clark pulls up another deep one. He's good! Throughout the game, Clark's influence was palpable. Her court vision was something else. Threading the needle with her passes, setting up her teammates with precision. She read the defense like an open book, exploiting every weakness, making the Liberty scramble to keep up. Her ability to control the pace, to know when to push and when to pull back, was reminiscent of a seasoned veteran, not a rookie. As the game progressed, the Liberty tried to mount a comeback. In the third quarter, they managed to open a seven-point lead. It was a critical moment, and many teams would have crumbled. But not with Clark on the floor. She kept distributing the ball, making those crucial assists and grabbing key rebounds. Her presence was the stabilizing force the Fever needed. Then, with less than two minutes left in the game, Clark grabbed that pivotal rebound, securing her historic triple-double. It was as if she was saying, we're not losing this game, no way. The crowd could feel it, the energy shifted, and the Fever knew they had this. They closed out the game with an 83-78 victory, a hard-fought win against the best team in the league, led by their phenomenal rookie. The game was in its final minutes, and the Indiana Fever were battling neck and neck with the New York Liberty. It was tense. The kind of tension where every dribble, every pass, every breath feels charged with electricity. The Liberty had managed to open up a lead in the third quarter, and it looked like the Fever were about to fold under the pressure. But then, Clark made a play that turned the tide completely. With less than two minutes left on the clock, the Fever were desperately trying to stay in the game. The Liberty had just missed a shot, and the ball bounced off the rim. Everyone's eyes were on it, but Clark seemed to move faster than everyone else. She leaped as if propelled by sheer willpower and snatched the ball out of the air. This wasn't just a statistical milestone, it was a statement. That rebound said, we're not done yet. It was like Clark was telling her teammates, I've got this, we've got this. The fever, inspired by her determination and grit, seemed to find a second wind. It's incredible how one play can inject so much confidence into a team. They started moving with renewed energy. Every pass sharper, every movement more deliberate. But let's not downplay the physicality of that moment. Clark had burns on her knees from the previous game, visible reminders of the brutal nature of the sport. Yet, she soared for that rebound with everything she had, pain be damned. That's what makes it so remarkable. It wasn't just about getting the ball, it was about sheer determination, the kind that makes legends. Her tenacity in that moment was a testament to her character and her will to win. After securing the rebound, Clark immediately transitioned into offense. The Fever, galvanized by her play, pushed forward with a renewed sense of purpose. Clark orchestrated the offense with precision, dishing out assists and making plays that left the Liberty scrambling. The Fever capitalized on this shift. Clark's leadership on the court was evident as she directed traffic, found open teammates, and made crucial shots. The Liberty's defense, which had been formidable all game, started to show cracks under the relentless pressure. Each basket the Fever made seemed to drive the nail deeper into the Liberty's coffin. All the while, the crowd was on their feet, roaring in support, feeding off the energy Clark had generated with that one monumental play. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.